Hello and welcome back to the last series of the day for Group A here on Stream 2 for the International 2017. Team Empire and Team Liquid will go head to head in this best of two or two game series, if you will. I'm Shiva, I'm here with Fogged. Hi, Sheeves. How are you doing today? I am doing great. I am excited for this game. I'm sure Empire is as well after a two oh. hour slug with IGV. You know what? I mean, it was amazing to watch, don't get me wrong. And they were ahead so long, right? But that must be one of the crush... Like, losing a game like that, that just crushes you. Yeah, and they just came out of the qualifiers. They had a two-hour and 20-minute game as well just before when they were qualifying for this. I actually ran into Resolution on the way up to this, up to the room afterwards. He's like, I didn't know what to do. He's like, I literally tried everything on Anti-Mage. He's like, I bought Satanic. It didn't work. I sold it. I switched my items like 15 times. Nothing was working. So he's still, he was just like, he's still feeling in high spirits. They said they didn't rake, take too much from that one. It was, it was a close game. Now, I do have to say, the first eight games that Empire played in this tournament, they only won two. And, yeah. they, or, and they already won like four matches since then. So... You know, they're on the right track, and they, yep. they actually almost won that game as well. So so they're definitely looking up, and you have to keep in mind that it is Resolution standing in for Chappie, so they, they yeah. needed some time to find the groove, but it seems like they kind of found it. Yeah, they're starting to find it for sure. It seems like is starting to get more comfortable with what they want to draft to. They're really liking the Kunkka. This Kunkka Shadow Demon has been working pretty well for them. Yeah. That being said, though, this time they're up versus one of the best teams here mm -hmm. at the tournament right now. Liquid, extremely stable. And yeah, they're nine and three right now. Yeah, they're scary as well. The way to, to draft for them, just because you have to ban out GH, you yeah. have to ban out his Ion, his Cuddle. So let's through so many heroes of theirs through, and they still get themselves now the Earthshaker and the Winter Wyvern, which they've been liking a lot. The Winter Wyvern is popping up all over the place. Yeah, and that that Earthshaker has just been GH hero like almost every single game. Yeah, and the great thing about having it, be able to pick it like this first too, it's like that flex pick. It can you know my control plays it from time to time. Yeah. It's mostly GH, but. But they can do whatever they want. They have uh, yeah. a lot of extra freedom in their drafts because of those two force bands. Yeah, and their team fight already is looking great. I mean, Winter Wyvern can set up for Echo Slams mm -hmm. pre Blink Dagger. So we have a Broodmother nice. ban. Yeah, did we see? We saw Matu play it in one of their. Yeah, but they series. lost that game. They did lose it. Yeah. Uh, they did also win with it against uh, EG at some point. Yeah, they did that one. Yes, but third, or two days ago. Yes, yeah, I don't first, even know what day it is day, anymore. Like, <laughs> was their third series, but I think it was the the first day. Yeah, they had like the. I think that game was like the full summons. I remember them having yes. Furion, Broodmother, Lycan. Visage. Yeah, they had everything <laughs> for that one. Yeah. Uh, and the Husker ban. We we saw Liquid earlier today. They actually played the first Husker of the tournament with the Oracle Husker combination. It was uh, pretty painful for the enemy team. Oh yeah, that was the TNC game. We were all like sitting there, like, yeah. "Wow, this could be a repeat of last year when TNC, well, you know, not yeah. getting them knocked out, but losing with Huskar to TNC. That would have been pretty ironic." It was so, just uh, a little bit of revenge, yeah. back. like you know, just uh, even though it was a bit of a different team, just still getting that revenge. And uh, Luna ban now. We've seen a lot of resolution Luna with the Shadow Demon, or uh, rather the couple of successful Lunas, let's put it that mm -hmm. way. It wasn't actually that many games, but the games that he did play. Resolution seems to be liking the split push a lot. Yeah, I think that's probably maybe coming off from him playing with uh, Planet Odd a bit, just because yeah. the way that their style was toward the end. He was playing a lot of those, those one heroes that just kind of have to 1v5 at one point. He has to go for that split push. But maybe that's also just, I mean, that's that's kind of like a way Rezo likes to play, those very hard carries that do that. Do you feel like also that's a style of play that no matter which team you're in, you're kind of mostly relying on yourself rather than any, like rather than your team, and therefore it fit in, fits in because he's standing in for them? Yeah, exactly. It's just because they don't want to, they probably don't want to change it up so much, make yeah. him feel uncomfortable, and then the team has to adjust so much. Yeah. So yeah. L Luna ban, yeah. Quap ban, makes sense. FN's most comfortable hero, one of his best. Let's see what they go for next, looking at the the cores, because, I mean, Kunkka so far has mostly been support, just like Shadow Demon. So both teams just opening with their, their two supports has been very, very common. Yeah, been happening quite a lot. This I like. I just love this this tournament because of how much variety we're seeing. Now we're seeing Marana being picked up a lot more from a lot of these teams. So that's cool. They have, like, this is the Shadow Demon combo. Like, they have so many different things to set up for with that disruption now. We've seen uh, carry Marana, not just mid Marana, but yeah. Marana as well. And offlane, Universe uh, played it too. Yeah. I think I think 4F played it as well last game that, that they just beat LFY, LFY first game, of course, yeah. that they lost. 
Yeah. Saw that offlane Murano too. Yeah, that game. I love why I actually losing that. That was. Uh, yeah. Maybe giving a little bit of slack to DC picking the Podge, the Omni Knight. I mean, that like. was the first game where they were 100% confirmed in the upper bracket. So yeah. at that point, you know, maybe one to try out a little bit more things. Even yeah. though they've, they've already had a large variety of heroes, but yeah, why not? Yeah. Right? I mean. Why not indeed? I like the, the Shadow Demon Murana combo. I mean, I know that they're probably not going to be a duo roaming combo, but it mm -hmm. does have a lot of potential. That Shadow Demon can set up for so many things already. Well, for both the, the Kuka and Murana, that's going to be a big help in setting the tempo of the game. But Liquid has their own answer of setting a tempo of the game, because the Mind Control Legion Commander is a scary one. Yeah, it's really scary, this game. So people do get connected with that combo Disruption Arrow. You can just purge it off with Press the Attack, and it's going to be good versus any type of Illusion Draft if they think... You know, that could be coming since it's Shadow Demon. There's a double kind of utilization from this. And they have now more sustain. So that's cool. They have Cold Embrace. They have pressed the attack. And now their lanes are mostly dictated. We're not 100% sure yet where the Legion could go because we've seen, seen... I think we've seen like one or two mids. Yeah. But Do you feel like... Uh, like what, What's lacking for, for the teams? Because in terms of team fight on the side of Empires, maybe not as much as the side of Liquid has. Yeah, probably a bit more team fight. Their, their lanes are kind of weak too. I mean, Shadow Demon Kunkka are not the strongest. They're good at dual roaming once they get a couple levels, but right at the start... They need the levels first. Yeah, they, yeah. Lack, yeah, they lack some damage too. So lack damage, lack team fight. They lack Ghostix Hero, which is usually one of the big ones for them that dis like dictate what they're going to be doing. Uh, he's played a lot of Void this tournament. Yeah. Dark Sea. Clockwork? He's played a He's played some clockworks he's, too. Yeah, he's played a couple of clockworks actually successfully today against well TNC and uh, against Fnatic. I think TNC was actually yesterday, but yeah, uh, successfully so. Yeah, and a tempo setter. Yeah, and he had the two-hour game where he was playing clockwork. Oh well, yeah, I'm pretty sure All too. Right. Yeah. yeah, that was him too. But they didn't win that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. they were close though. They, they were, did they have mega creeps close. for quite a while. Yeah, 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 they they were actually so close. This is good to start the fight. Now they have a real initiator on the side of Empire as well. Like, disruption into a torrent thing. That's like kind of ganking. You don't want that to be your setup for team fight. So having this clockwork will give them that. And it's really good versus our shaker to isolate him. How much really do you value nice. uh, tower push potential in, in these drafts? In both of them? Neither ones have incredibly good ones just yet. Legion Commander can become that kind of pusher if you do get a good amount of dual wins with your press the attack. But no natural kind of building hitter just yet on either side. Do you, do you feel like they need that, or is it yeah. okay if the enemy doesn't have it, you don't need it either, kind of? I mean, it's it's pretty team-dependent from what I've seen. Mm -hmm. Most teams at least want one hero that can do it. I think LFY is one of the few teams that actually picks multiple objective takers in every single game, always having, like, Dragon Knight to push towers, plus, you know, some other, like, Pugna, etc., something like that along those lines. Team Liquid has a little bit of a different approach. Yeah. So they go for themselves for PL, so they're going for... Late game already. This Phantom Lancer is rising in popularity heavily. Yeah, and it is actually a uh, Miracle playing PL normally for them. Yeah. Well, they've picked it once, let's put it that way, and Miracle played at that time. <laughs> Super hard to kill Elusive Hero, and Empire doesn't really have good lockdown for Phantom Lancer. Nothing reliable. It's a ton like the Shadow Demon disruption into Torrent, and Arrow is not reliable whatsoever versus Phantom Lancer. Interesting fact. Uh, this is the first time this tournament that Miracle is actually playing the same hero as he did before this, uh, the, he played all different heroes in all his games. Unless he doesn't play the PL just yet, right? Ooh. Maybe he'll play the Legion, we don't... Uh, yeah, I mean, he, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I mean, so either. I guess <laughs> they, can, they can still put Matuma Man on, on Phantom Lancer if they really want to. It doesn't look like Empire is expecting that though, as they banned out uh, Matuma Man's Necrophos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, theoretically. Theoretically, we, you know, they still have yeah, the flex picks, I like to call them. Yeah. Don't really know exactly who's playing what. Well, so what do they lack? Like what? What does the lap last pick? What role does it need to fulfill in terms of, uh, like, do they want to have some extra push? Do you feel like you have enough team fight? You got enough gank? Sure, you have the legion commander, but do you not want to have something else as well, or do you want a little bit of more sustain? What I think we, their what sustain is their sustain's okay with the wyvern. Yeah, and they have pretty good team fight with the setup. Probably just another kind of uh, in, like spell damage dealer early on because right now their damage is a little bit lacking and they want something to fight with the four while Phantom Lancer gets online with that Diffusal Blade. And the banner's anti-mage. Mm -hmm. Does that say anything about their last pick though? I think that's just for the PL. 
Because there is already a Shadow Demon, and the Resolution's hero is the one that's left, and Anti-Mage can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with PL, since he farms faster. Yeah, and he automatically already goes for Battle Fury as yeah. well. There we go! It is going to be an Ember Spirit. More magic damage. From... That, that's probably Miracle's hero then, right? Um, Matuma has played Ember earlier this tournament. Okay. Uh, he has, uh, yeah, that was the only time they had an Ember. This will be their second game in the tournament. It's a, another really strong pick here because of what I mentioned before, the lack of like hard disables. That helps a bit. Hey! Also natural cleave. Yep, yeah, natural cleave. And so Miracle will be playing the Ember and Matu on the PL. Look at the tiger! He's so cute. Which tiger? Oh my god, it's massive! <laughs> 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 it's like a blue line. It's looking like a very cute line. I feel like Sven has no head here either. He looks That's like the headless, headless Sven right now. I don't think he can see anything. Yeah. I do like the way that it sh shows the cosmetic like it does. Yeah. Uh, which draft do you prefer though? That's the real question here. Empire has a pretty strong draft. I would... Like if you disregard the teams. Disregard the teams entirely. Yeah, because I, yeah. I would imagine that regardless of draft, you would favor Liquid. I would, yeah, I would definitely favor favor Liquid. Based off draft... I would probably still favor Liquids just okay. because of this Phantom Lancer. And they have these two super elusive heroes. Like Sven can, can get out of control to deal with one of them, but it's about if they can deal with both of these two. If they get to that point, they can become super hard to kill. Because just, yeah, the elus how elusive they are, and there's no real good lockdown. It's just like now it's Sven stun and an arrow if it catches them. But yeah, nothing super reliable versus this PL and Ember Spirit since they can disjoint majorities. All right, so uh, cool. I still like to introduce all the players. Do it. Yeah, we. I, I actually prefer when people do that. We haven't had it too often. So. Yeah, it it uh, it helps players know or people know uh, what's happening at uh, at home. Who's playing what miracle? We'll play the Ember Spirit. You were right. So this will be again a new hero that he plays. He is. This is his thirteenth uh, game in this tournament and his thirteenth hero. He didn't so, uh, play the Ember yesterday. No, I that thought... was uh, Matu. He played Lycan in that game. Really. Yeah, so far, Miracle has played Troll, Invoker, Morph, Zeus, Lycan. Uh, oh, ow! Oh, no, he did play. He played a 19 1 uh, Ember Spirit yesterday, yeah. What? And Matu played the Lycan. Oh, then I messed them up. Because I remember I saw him yesterday go like, beyond God Lycan, and he was like, carrying them super hard with the Ember Spirit. <sighs> Yeah, it's okay. We gotta write stuff down That's properly fine. someday. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, but we were, I, was, I was introducing um, Liquid Mind Liquid uh, lineup. Mind Control will play Legion Commander. No surprise there. And uh, we have Kuroki on the Winter Rider and Matuma Man. I'm playing the Phantom Lancer, and that means last but not wow. least, GA John. What else? An Earth Shaker again. Yeah. His specialty. His specialty indeed. And we see Empire Mipushkan, a Shadow Demon, going into enemy territory with Roger on his Kunkka. Resolution will play as Sven. Uh, we'll here have Fn in the middle lane on his Marana, and last on the side of Empire, Ghostic Clockwork for him on the off lane. All right, which lanes do we do we favor? What are we expecting to see here? Because this Shadow Demon and Kunka, I feel like they will have quite a bit of freedom here. They should have a good amount of freedom. They're gonna have to stay bottom at uh, right away though, because of the way my control itemized to poor man's shield Tango. He can. He should be able to contest for a decent amount of experience, but it's a very stun very scary tri lane. Shadow Demon Kunkka with a, another follow up stun. But since it's dire, my control should be able to get a good amount of experience since the the wave meets at a better location. Um, the Marana mid, you can harass a good amount versus the Ember Spirit, but I think Miracle is very used to these kind of matchups and he should be able to do it just fine. And GH, whenever he's playing this Earthshaker, he sits on the mid lane. Yeah. So that'll be able to let Miracles. Miracle have a pretty sustained one. And then top lane, it's going to be Ghost getting probably a bit more than the Legion Commander. So I'd say it's, it's fairly even across the board, just that Ghost is going to be getting probably a little bit more. So maybe a little bit favored for Emperor Iron. Yeah. Oh, FN, he did have a leap, leap available. But uh, yeah, GH still harassing. Meet that bottom lane. This might actually be first blood mind control. Locked in position, but he gets himself out with an easy overwhelming odds on three. A lot of harass coming out from him, forcing yeah. out some regen there. That's the, the problem between that tri lane. They're, they're lacking a little bit of damage. They have some chase if, they'll, if they catch the legion near the tower, like closer there. Because wow. they have slow cooldowns, but... Go uh, stick! No. Go stick, you gotta run! You can't oh. run! You're Fisher! Oh! That was scary. Ooh, that was very scary. Almost got out with that Fisher there, but first blood in the hands of Kuroki. All eyes on GH. That's always what we say about when he's playing these Earthshakers or IOs. That's basically every game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he played Carlo like once or something. 
when it wasn't banned, but generally you want to always ban the Coddle because he's a beast on that. Yeah, he's so scared. The way that they play around his Coddle, they just like let him farm and just he gets that Aghanim set like 20 minutes and then they just win the game right afterwards on the first day time usually. Yeah. And he's back in mid as well to see if he can uh, help Miracle out a bit. In the meantime, it was actually Man Control that goes into the jungle, stops being uh, bottom lane is all the way to the tower, so Rezo has an easy time farming uh, farming on bot lane. This is what I've been seeing uh, KP from Newbie doing when he's playing the Legion. He starts at the bottom, he gets level 2, gets his uh, calling blade, then just resorts to the jungle pretty much exclusively if he's versus tri lane. Because you farm super fast. I mean, Legion jungle still is a thing after the first, after the first wave. Not at the start. No, that is, but I, I am, I'm just having fun here in this mid lane. They're both of the, both teams scanned at about the same location at the same time, and then Roger just wanted to go in, but the Fisher already stopped a fend, and then the Torrent didn't hit, and he seemed just running back and forth. <laughs> uh, but they really want to get an advantage here because it's a very close lane. Uh, in terms of last hits, Miracle is a little bit ahead, but FN is not really getting uh, shut down that much. It's uh, it's funny how much pressure they uh, they put on that uh, right now. But then again, GH is rotating again to top yep. lane. Make sure you can shut down Ghostic a little bit because Clockwork, like we were saying, like, he's bound to get some level since he's versus a dual lane. But if he oversteps his bounds like this, it is possible for him to get Fissure blocked with the rotation of Wyvern. Oh, my control! He's actually stuck between the illusions of Miposhka's disruption. Span has not got a stun available anymore. One hit is needed for him to get that. Not doesn't matter. Miposhka had actually had the shadow poison high enough. That's nice one. Skill. That's one way to when you're lacking damage in those lanes. Instead of going for the soul catcher build, you put the pump the points up into sh uh, shadow poison. Costs a lot of mana, but the damage is is pretty good if you get a couple stacks out. Yeah, and he couldn't move back. The only way was forward. It got stunned up as well, and down he goes. Mm -hmm. And they didn't they didn't even need Kunkka for that. Yeah. Fairly impressive with the block on the other trees. Yeah. Ghostic level three. Looking to maybe help out mid as well. Or was he checking out the rune perhaps? Yeah, that was indeed the case. Mm -hmm. uh, the rune, however, is already bottled illusion rune for Miracle. Miracle's starting to pull a decent f amount ahead of FN in that mid lane. Probably just the threat of the GH rotations. And I think Miracle also FN initially had a salve being brought out and Miracle leveled up Sleight of Fist earlier to block, to cancel the salve right away. So that kind of hurt him a bit, made him feel threatened. GH bottom. Yeah, might be in a bit of trouble. Miposhka's here as well, he's got a disruption available. He wants to secure another poison on there, which is exactly what he does. An arrow flying in as well, but GH is able to dodge that one. Gets a Fisher off, in comes Mind Control, and now Roger is the one on the run. GH helping to secure that kill, and Shadow Demon also in way too deep dies. Four Hero of Liquid came... Uh, came to the aid of GH. That nighttime rotation. Matu, yeah. top lane, looking to try to take out Ghostic, but taking a little bit too da much damage from that battery assault. Yeah, I can't dive that. He's, uh, he's still doing quite okay on the mana though, but he needs to be uh, needs to be careful, especially with the teleport in coming there from uh, from the Kunkka. That was such a convenient rotation for Liquid. Kuroki was just making his way toward bottom to start setting up wards and leave PL alone, and they get double kill, and also their shrine comes up so they can pressure more bottom. Everybody being full health, now they can actually Hurt Rezo a bit while they leave the PL alone top. Yeah, Rezo popped a salve for that one. He has a stun available. We'll go for GH. But Kuroki is close by. Miposhka can't really help. Resolution. But I don't think he needs to. GH has another Fisher. He can deny himself to neutrals if he wants to. Or he can just bait it out. Miposhka died in the meantime. That was Mind Control getting him. We were following this chase around. Because why not? Mind Control has got some mana. If he needs to use it on GH, he does it. Overwhelming odds will save the day, and Resolution does not get the gold. Very smart rotation from Liquid, yeah, just making Rezo's life a bit miserable. Playing versus a free farm Sven is nothing that you want when you're playing with a PL on your lineup. So if you disrupt him a bit, your PL gets ahead, and yeah, that's the dream. Yeah, it does mean that they both have to run back to base, but that's uh, that's absolutely worth it, because they wasted the time of, of Rezo, yeah. yeah. And leave Kuroki for some extra experience. Yeah, and he's already level 4. Kuro's yeah. doing extremely well. Almost 5, even. So chain pulling. Kuroki has 9 CS as well. Yeah. Feels good. And he wants to keep that Siege Creep, or rather make sure it doesn't get last hit by uh, Marezzo, but uh, Roger comes in. Kuroki, gotta be careful there. Gets torrented. But Roger might be the H one H. Yep. in trouble. Uh, oh, level three Kunka on the run. He's got the boots. He's also got the infused raindrops. 
And they save it's him. A, oh! The raindrop it's save. For now. For, for now. Because GH, GH ain't stopping. He's very speedy. He gets disrupted. <laughs> There's a stun available Rezo. He had this clarity popping, so he had the mana. And now GH in a lot of trouble. He gets help, though. Has got the cold embrace from Kuro. Kuro and now is Rezo in trouble. The Fissure comes out. The damage is there, but not enough to take him down. But Posh gets out of mana. Arrow comes as well. Mirana. Not able to make a difference just yet. Oh my god, the raindrops are saving everybody. Uh, the raindrops are actually <laughs> saving GH just now as well. GH is baiting with Porsche and gets a stun off as well. Karoki oh finds god. him and there, there comes Miracle oh because why goodness. not? The amount of heals, the press, the attack, oh. and cold embrace combination allowing Miracle to get down there in time. Oh god. That must be so frustrating because it was so close multiple times. Yeah, I mean, Raindrop saved the Kanka twice, then Raindrop saved GH, and then the, with, in addition with all the heals, little things adding up there yeah. and allowing Liquid to keep that pressure going. Now, on the bright side, Rezo didn't actually die, so yeah. it could have been worse. Um, Apashka did, of course, end up dropping, but it's just a support, and he doesn't have any penny to his name, so it's not that big of a loss, but overall, obviously, <laughs> they really prefer to have some kills, because it was also the first rotation that Murana made. Yeah. And he couldn't do anything, unfortunately, for him. FN is, uh, is level 8, still doing quite fine on the, on the old last hits. Yeah, still farming great. Still a bit behind there. Dodging though. the one skill point in Moonlight Shadow. I know oh. a lot of people do that to go for the leap, but having Moonlight Shadow can be pretty damn useful in those type of situations. Bottom, in particular. Miracle, stealing a whole triple stack. Woo! First hook shot of the game by Ghostic, and that was an Invis rune. Oh. And no detection. And, and he's fine. He's fine. And he stole the whole stack from poor Rezo. Right in front of him. And he stole the whole stack, forced the reactions, clockwork hooks, and he still survives and backs up. And that, yeah, that, that hook shot I always feel like has a lot of pressure to to do well, to you know set the pace. Yeah, it's like a triple win there for Liquid. Yeah. GH also gets a little bit of experience in the mid lane now. Miracle makes his way back over there, putting some pressure onto FN. All right. Uh oh, he's got the remnants too for yeah, after they... after the leap. He's committing. Yeah, he's going for it. But there comes Clockwork helping out, gets the cogs up. Miracle has the remnant to get out though. He's okay. <laughs> so right now these skirmishes are obviously favoring favoring Liquid. Yeah. What's what's Empire's plan here? How long are they gonna tr keep trying to to do skirmishes like this, which are obviously not working out? They have to overcommit. I think that's the biggest thing. Is if they do see those type of like, three-man rotations, I think getting some better lane ward could also be cool. Like if they want to really secure Rezo, get that ward behind the tower. If anything, I, I think the biggest thing they can do though is sit behind Rezo. He is their their big hero. Having a, that one point in Moonlight Shadow also can make a huge difference to set up or counter initiate. Yeah, so I think shot. that's what they should be doing. Sit around Rezo. They want to go for mind control. He already got the cold embrace to help him out a little bit more. Kuroki can't help him all the way though, but GH might be able to. And they might be able to turn this around as well. We push got on the run. Very low on life. Has to be careful there. Mind control. Just as careful. Arrow the arrow. And that will get him actually. Yeah, go stick. He's happy that, uh, that FN showed up to help him because he got very low TP out from Kuro and he's okay. Ah, they finally got some return from that investment. Yeah, I think that's what, that's like ideally what they have to do. If they're expecting that kind of aggression, they should just have the Mirana port in almost. Mirana or Clockwork has to port in those situations in order to defend. Mm -hmm. Or an overcommitment. That time it's a little bit of an overcommitment, but that's fine because that's what they need to be doing at this point in the game since they're a bit behind. It almost went real bad though. Like yeah. If GH was a little bit higher level, that would have been three dead. Everybody no was does. super low. Yeah. And it now we have uh, Kuroki with six, so he does have that Winter's Curse, can, which can definitely turn stuff around. Yeah, would have would have turned that around as well, or at least I uh, got some extra kills on the board. Rez was trying to make a little cute move top. But yeah, getting some farming. The tower drops here. This PL is because we haven't really not seen Matuba Man. He's just been farming. Yeah. All the fights have been uh, on the bottom lane, and Matuba Man is just uh, taking full advantage. He's topping the net worth, and he's doing he's doing real well. Yeah, that's the thing that we were like kind of saying that. Oh, they actually get the X on him. He's got doppelganger though. He should be just fine. The disruption. Uh, that's a bit of an awkward combination, but uh, he's fine. Yeah. yeah, having like the four heroes who can fight so much with like Legion, Wyvern, Urshaker, and Ember Spirit gives so much liberty to the PL just to do what PL needs to do is farm that Diffusal Blade, and then you can go actually battle with your team. Mind control Bottom again, lane. stuck in cogs, but Kuroki is already there to help out. He has also got the Winter's Curse if needed. Stark. Oh, he doesn't get it off! And Miracle's here now, too. Yep, mid animation. In comes the Jewel. That is the first 
plus damage for mind control and both Clockwork and Marana, which are both arguably the tempo controllers for Empire. Both yeah, they're the they're the big tempo controllers. That's exactly what I was gonna say to it. It's really painful for them to lose both, and Ghostic is getting further and further behind. Two thousand net worth on this off plane Clockwork. None of his rotations are being successful. Yeah, he's lower than Kuroki's Winter Wyvern, which uh, I mean. It's pretty rare. That Kuroki is pretty usually rare. doesn't get too much, not this much farm, yeah. especially when he's playing a wyvern. I mean, he hasn't really actively farmed that much. He's just been involved in all the action, yeah. really. Uh, whether he wants it or not, he is involved in the action right now as well. Ghostic again, the target of all the aggression of Liquid and Miracle. Even look at this. This is five heroes. Nice torrent though, up on four. Can there be anything else? I don't think so. Uh, notice how he already knew he was dying. He just tried to deny himself. It doesn't even pop the shrine. So that's good. I, I really like that, like the little. No, it doesn't pop the shrine. Yeah, he Saving accepted his faith. He accepted right. his faith. His fate, sorry. Uh, yeah, fate. <laughs> I mean, I just. We accepted you. his faith, yes. <laughs> I don't think native English speaker surely Fog knows what he's talking about. <laughs> English was my second language. Hey, mine too. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, the only upside is Bipashka got his level 6, he got some extra experience up on top. Because yeah. there were actually 5 people from Liquid in the Radiant Jungle that time. Yeah, Matu got involved very early on. Didn't yeah. think that he'd come down there, but... Might as well if he feels like his lane is, is just a dead lane at that point. May as well just get invo involved with his team since they're looking very strong right now. They can kind of just like steamroll over. Since Kunkka doesn't have 6, just kidding. Kunkka just used the Tome. He's now 6 with the boat. There you go, Mind Control is uh, also ready for a gank here. Oh, look at that, it's Ghost Stick again. Roger, he should be, he should be okay. Oh no, the boat does come out. Yeah, but it's not enough. I mean, oh. it's just dual damage again. Uh, he did use the hookshot for that, which I think it's a little bit of a waste, but I guess it's a fairly short cooldown. Yeah. It's not like he can do anything anymore at the time because Liquid just seems to be five manning this. Yeah, and the scary thing is that Liquid's team fight is infinitely better. The only thing that Empire really has going for them for team fight is the Kunkka. And that's pretty much it, just because now it's Clockwork is super shut down, he's more of like a kind of pick-off hero initiator, but when he's this shut down, I mean... Look at where Rezo is farming! That's desperation. His, enjoy his jungle is invaded! That I mean, is the proper place, that is the best place that he can farm right now. The safest place is where they least expect you. <laughs> exactly. Top right. lane. Uh, Miposhka, he has got the backup, there's an arrow flying in as well, and that's the combination that they need to have. That's, that's like... Textbook. Marana, Shadow Demon, they need to have more of those kills. Yeah. I think the Moonlight Shadow will play a big factor if Empire is able to use it properly to set up for those kind of ganks and kills. Oh, Rezo finds himself Kuro and Miracle. He actually focused on uh, a Miracle there, but he gets a Cold Embrace instantly. Oh, courier, though. Just one shot's the Courier. Yeah, one Courier down. My miracle and Kuroki, uh... That's a win. See? <laughs> yeah. I'd be a, you definitely take those. That's a Courier. Nice chunk of gold going for your entire team. Forced reactions as well. Yeah, every little bit helps. Uh, all tier 1 towers on the side of Empire are down now though, so the map control is greatly reduced. Yeah. And playing as a Sven, it's very awkward when your safe lane tower dies so early, because your the access points into your jungle are all there for liquid. Yep. You're very concerned about farming your ancients pretty much ever now. On that right side. So Rezo now pretty much has to take the mid lane farm, which would ideally be like where the Murana would be, and Murana has to go toward bottom, so she's a bit safer to farm there. Alright, so Liquid is uh, also back to farming a bit. What needs to happen for Liquid to be more aggressive? Because they, they were 5 manning until the point where all the tier 1s dropped. What's their next step in their plan? Which is, uh, so far their plan's working, but what's their next step? I don't think they really need to force too much. The, the tempo of the game is really good for them. Yeah. So I think they can just like farm it up, they can distribute themselves amongst lanes, wait for GH to get that blink dagger, which he's very close to, and then they can probably just go for that type of smoke. You see Kuroki sitting behind GH, just guaranteeing him to get that blink, so yeah. that and would definitely uh, be the... Yeah, and Barry's as well. Yeah. So they, they know they weren't going to go for that. They're going to get a lot of their timings at the exact same time. It's going to be the blink on the Shaker, the defusal on the PL, and the blink on the Legion are all going to come pretty much in unison when that courier respawns, which also has Miracle's full Yule set there on it. <laughs> Is it time for action at that point? Or? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. They can just start invading. They de they definitely feel much more powerful, especially because they know Sven has not been farming Ancients, and his safe lane got invaded, so they know Sven's items are crippled massively at this point. They really are. He's got himself a Mask of Madness. Yeah, FN also doing okay. 6,400 net worth, but it's a Mirana this early on. His damage potential is still... 
pretty low, especially versus these very elusive heroes like we we're mentioning. Amber Spirit with Flame Guard doesn't really care too much about the Star Storm. Yeah. Marana's damage really starts escalating when you get that level 15 and level 20 for the 30 attack speed and 50 damage. Since we've been seeing that, you know, Marana's only going for that exclusive right click build. Or needs to have some help from teammates and go for the ganks, but then you have to find someone of Liquid that is all by his lonesome. Yeah. And that looks to be a tough act right now. Lots of smokes being bought up by Kuro. He's just waiting for that curry to respawn and they're going to bring a magnitude of items for them. I mean, they're already grouping up. They're already looking to, uh, to do something here, perhaps, or... Maybe they just are aware that Empire is not in a position to stop them from moving onto the buildings. Yeah, they're the ones dictating the pace of the game completely. Just in invading, they can even respond to tower pushes because they have Legion Commander with Blink and Earthshaker with Blink. Alright. So they have multiple setups. How is Empire stopping the bleeding? Because this is this is not looking good, and and we're kind of because you know it's, it's all looking good for for Liquid, and they're getting their items, and they're they're gonna you know they can waltz down mid if they want to, and probably be successful. I think they need to farm. I don't think they can really go for these kind of fights versus what Liquid has. It's too tough for their lineup to actually. They have to have like the perfect kind of initiation, and they don't have that. The clockwork is too shut down to get great initiations versus Liquid's double blinks. So I think they have to just sit behind people and kind of expect the movements or use Moonlight Shadow very aggressively when some when they show more on Liquid, when Liquid shows in multiple lanes. Well, they go for a smoke right now. And they're going to smoke uh, close to Rezo. So Rezo could potentially join in if the fight happens close by. But uh, we see also Liquid gathering up. They're all around that mid lane and look to uh, perhaps smoke as well. Empire's done this in a lot of their games. They just have Rezo force a lane out, and then they smoke, and they actually go in front of the lane to find a battle. Oh. But Liquid is prepared for this one. They've got haste rune on Miracle, and everyone's got all their items online now. Yeah, Moonlight Shadow doesn't matter if you get dusted. Arrow will still fly in, but it doesn't matter. The jewel's already done. And Liquid's looking for more. Stopped Maposhka's TP with the Fissure. Yeah, nice. Uh, Maposhka is still invisible. Oh, they actually still scouted him, so they can do something, perhaps. They know exactly where he is, actually. Uh, everybody's in the trees, but uh, yeah, the disruption is not going to happen for Pushka. Or maybe it is, not on himself though. He's he's just still dead. Rezo is hoping that <laughs> they don't know where stay, he is. Stay away from me. Five more seconds, I can TP. Yeah, there is, uh, luckily for him, no scan available on the side of Liquid. Uh, but yeah, that was that was a ditch effort for like Empire that just, I mean, you know that they got to try, I guess. But it just, timing was... With all the items just coming out. For they only lost supports. We'll count Ghost sure. as a support now at this point. He's at 3,000 net worth, so he's not really worth a whole chunk of gold, to oh, be honest. And he's only level 9, and the rest of the supports in the game are all pretty much 8 and 9 as well. Miracle right. now, picking up a blink dagger. So they have three ways to start the engagement, or three and a half ways to start the engagement on Liquid. I'll count Curse as well, but uh oh, they isolate two heroes here. Maybe. Oh. Get the fish out. Arrow will still hit on the Ember Spirit. And look at that. Rezo doing Ooh. the damage. That's one down. Looking for the second. Double kill for FN. The rest of Liquid could not be there in time. They were bashing on the tier 2 middle. Who traps who there? Yeah. Good rotation. Great arrow by FN. And yeah, Rezo just being there. Having that level 12. Echo Saber finished up. He's still scary on the Sven. The amount of damage you can always do with God Strength versus these low armor heroes like, yeah. like Ember Spirit is still a factor. And if you're saying that um, Empire has to focus on farming up the Sven, how do you make sure that the Sven will be able to farm safely? Because Play, playing like this, right? Like uh, you run him and have you have like everybody kind of running along with him, three or four heroes making the move with Rezo all the time. But then it's... you're gonna get really behind in your experience, and the rest of the team. You're sure your Sven can then farm. The rest of the team is not getting much. I think only the Sven and the Marana really need to get farm in this game. Okay. Ideally, sure. It's a Clockwork wants to have something, but he'll get that naturally for, through fights. He is actually got a Midas queued up. Yeah. Okay, so that's the catch-up catch up Midas. Oh. Not ideal. Rezo's, I mean, Rezo's farm is looking pretty fine, to be honest. He's pretty close to that BKB. It's about, I mean, he needs the Ogre Club and the recipe, of course, but, or the um, Mithril Hammer and the recipe. Mm -hmm. But not, not the furthest away. Of course, when you're playing a Sven, we always like to say, if you're behind, if you're even, you're behind as a Sven. Yeah, because you normally should be on top of that net worth chart. Yeah. Oh, Roger. He gets jumped upon and jeweled and dies. Nice arrow, but no follow-up is uh, available, unfortunately. Shadow Demon tried to, uh, to get some disruption on the real PL, but he, he can't get it. He needs those illusions. 
yeah. for himself. He's not been successful just yet. Oh, careful there, Roger. Manta to get himself out of that. It's really tough for Empire to make aggressive plays instead of defensive plays right now because they only have Clockwork as the initiator. They don't have a Blink Dagger on the Sven, and he's, like we said, we're going, he's going for BKB first. So BKB and then the Blink Dagger, and then they can actually start making more aggressive plays. But yeah, it's just the Clockwork, and, yeah, and he he's just suffering. Yeah, and he's suffering. So yeah. that's not going to happen anytime soon. Could have, I think that would have been a very, very hard place to fight. Everyone from Liquid is actually there. May have been a bit fortunate for Ghostic. Sure. Yeah, and he, d he doesn't have anything, so he would just hook shot in and die, basically. Between. Liquid's doing the exact right thing that they should be. They're just keeping Empire suffocated in their base. They're, they saw an ancient stack. If they don't back up, they can test it and take it. So that the Sven won't have that to farm later on. And yeah, they're just staying and sitting, forcing the lanes in as much as possible. Fn bottom. Miracle's looking to put some pressure on him with the DD. But the Moonlight Shadow. Yeah, defensive Moonlight. Can they actually turn this into an aggressive one? I think he found out which one is the real one. He does indeed. Needs some extra backup though. The stun does still hit. Illusions. Get himself out. But Tuma is out. Get X mark though. Doppelganger. On a 10 sec cooldown for now. Oh, that's a jewel. Bye, Shadow Demon. You're dead. This, uh, I mean, oh, oh, hello, Ghostic. You're oh, God, on the Ghostic. wrong side. Um, this is very optimistic for him. His team is not anywhere close. How. How do you come back? I mean, you could sort sure Sven is, you know, great hero and all that, but high ground defense. You gotta, <laughs> but you gotta even then hope that Liquid messes up. Yeah, pretty much. That's what it comes down to a bit. High ground defense is no joke, though. Once BKB gets, or once BKB, once Sven gets BKB, <laughs> it makes it a lot easier for them to actually take the fights in that, or BKB and Blink, because then they actually have him being able to start the fight at least a bit. But as we said during the draft, a big problem is going to be that press the attack to remove. The one, the like one disable that Empire kind of does have. Arrow, the stun. Yeah. yeah, it's a, uh, it's a rough one. But Empire are not one for giving up. I mean, the previous game that they played is a, uh, <laughs> is a showing of that. They played a two-hour game. Before. Yeah, they're just so. gonna do this. Yeah, wait till resolution has the BKB. Everybody kind of play around him. Liquid though, look like they're set up for a smoke, waiting for Miracle to get closer, but no. Oh, the, 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 the rocket just can't, yeah, I think that rocket saw it. Yeah. And they know where they are now though. Liquid does and Empire does. Empire's claiming the high ground here. Oh, goes up with a doppelganger. Matu is pretty tanky and with all those illusions, oh god, now it's Ghostic. Has to try to run away. And the jewel comes out, or is it? Yep. There it oh, is. The so no disruption in that fight, Ghostic. I mean, that's not gonna happen. That's he, he, the rest is out. It's it's done. Yeah, they can't. They still cannot take five v five engagements. Once Blink BKB, they can attempt to, but I think five v five is still way too hard. They have to get a couple pickoffs in the back line. For a game that's, that is looking as grim for Empire as it is right now, Rezo hasn't died yet at all. Yeah, 191 CS too. Like he's been looking for the places to farm in bizarre locations, you know, in the enemy jungle or wherever he can. Yeah. He's, he's trying to do what he can, but there's not a whole lot of space for him to do so. Now look at that vision also from uh, coming out from Liquid. They have yeah. this base on lockdown. Oop, they find themselves Roger. This Kunkka is getting a torrent out, but uh, stick charges won't save him there. Oh, no. Starting to get out of hand. Sven has nowhere to farm. The only thing he can farm is the waves pushing into him. Is it high ground time? It's so hard for them to straight up force it. I mean, it's not like Empire has the greatest ways to push the waves out. They only really have, like, what, Rocket Flare, Shadow Poison, and Torrent, and Starfall. Those aren't really very good ones in comparison to the usuals that you do see, like Cottle Blaster, Legion Commander, Nuke, etc. Liquid just can keep them trapped in their base, though. Take out all the last towers, and... When is it Roshan time? The thing is that their heroes don't their heroes don't really hit Rosh the greatest. Maybe when Legion Commander has the armlet, he's pretty close to that. They can do it better. This because we didn't ages fix for... it. Uh, yeah, it'll help. I mean, I think they're they're more about just fighting though. They can just take a fight and then go for it once they kill people. But it's this is just like some, they don't really have to force it, right? This is them being pretty happy with the situation that's happening. They're like, okay, we can farm bottom, we can farm mid, we can farm top, and Empire's farming nothing. Yeah, so it feels pretty good. GH just uh, spam pinged out the boat that was flying Duel coming through. out. Yeah. Uh, that jewel, actually, this... Oh, no, never mind. Still goes away with Mind Control, who is stuck in Cox. Echo Slam coming out as well. Miracle looking for a target. Finds himself. Ghost to call this clockwork is so juicy. Two GH, down. GH's Echo bit off the mark. He's going to pay with his life to FN. 
Yeah, his team was a little bit too far away from him. Rezo is here. Yeah, he's, he's got God's strength for a few more seconds, but oh, he gets oh. cursed as the BKB goes off. Look at him, caught mid action, looking for a, t a target still, but he just decides no, that is not where he wants to be. He just teleports out. Uh oh, and they saw Fen for a second, but no, Fen actually gets out as well. Yeah, he's fine. That was uh, that was scary though. First BKB usage, and he gets insta cursed. That's grim. Very grim. They did get the Earth Shaker, but Earth Shaker is already back alive again. And obviously they, they again lost their two supports, don't get anything off the back of it. Liquid doesn't seem to be uh, too phased by losing GH. Nope. They're fine with they're fine with all this. They're just gonna continue the same thing. Empire can't really push the waves out fast enough, they only have the Sven who can do it properly right now. I'm mm. sure Mirana can, but it's just liquid keeping them trapped in their base. I mean, Ember Spirit just always sitting there with the remnants, just jumps back in after porting back and healing. You said that um, Empire just need to farm up. Oh, hello, that was a jewel. Uh, need to farm up Rezo. That is something that Liquid knows as well, so they're making sure that he can farm. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty He's not allowing him to. Uh, arrow misses Clockwork. Ah, he dies still. Or does he? Or does he? He be might be living. Close. This actually is not looking good for Miracle. The boat hits. Miracle drops. GH on the run as well. Rezo. He's got the God Strength on right now. Yep, he's just a little bit slow. Nice arrow up on the Wyvern with the X mark in back. That is three down on the side of Liquid. This could be a big chunk of gold for Empire, especially if they can get Matumba here as well. Jump forward. Does have the mana for a star storm if he wants to. Not he just more, turns. Though. He just turns and might be able to fight this with Minecraft coming out as well. But Porsche taking a lot of damage. Gotta be careful there. Getting chased down by Illusion as well. Mind Control looking to finish the job. Matsu's still alive too. Uh, yeah. Mind Control is going to try to chase, but Poshki gets the duel. We'll be able to clean him up and pay with his life. Yeah, I don't think that's entirely worth it. Ooh, oh, and PL just died as well. Roger. Roger actually able to clean him up. That's a team wipe. That is how much gold? Let's see. Five or 4,500 gold and 8,600 experience. Look how much experience that Kunkka got because he got the solo. He got the solo. The PL. Oh, jeez. Four torrents used in that fight. Two arrows. There's a hard chase coming out, Empire having ah, all five It's not heroes. over yet either. Nice Winter's Curse coming out. Clockwork getting taken down by Rezo, but he doesn't finish the job, and he does finish the job on GH after that with that stun. Oh, Kuroki just trying to force the Mac. Tier 1 tower in the mid lane. A lot of map control with that one. Takes it to... Hey, Empire! Yeah, that's really big. They've got the blink now with the BKB on Sven. Also level 18 for God Strength. And the Mirana starting to get online. Lincoln's finished. Hitting, hitting that level 18, almost level 20 for that big surge in DPS. This uh, was a almost 15k gold yep. lead, and it's down to 8. Yeah, now the experience as well was about 10,000. It's like 2,500 experience lead, so that was a Jeez. huge swing right there. Liquid has to definitely be careful of when they're doing those aggressive plays to have everybody. The problem yep. was that they only had like three or four heroes, and everybody was kind of running in in like, like a straight line. So yep. it wasn't them all together, and Ooh. Empire punishes them. Oh! And he got the X mark up as well. Is he coming back? He has yours. He has yours up there. He's fine. He's fine. That was because he actually got stunned. Because that was not an intended stun. I think a miracle. He just went back in there with the. Uh, that the could have been. That could have been massive for Empire there. Yeah. Now God Strength is on cooldown though. They're smoking up for something though. Roger wants to smoke with Rezo, but without God Strength, I don't think taking a fight's a good idea. Oh, GH gonna run into Mafashka. There's a disruption. There should be an arrow coming from FN as well, perhaps. No, cool it's not cooldown, unfortunately. Mind Control's here as well. He's looking for a jewel. Looks for Mapashka. Finds Mapashka. Mapashka. You're dead. Invis or not. Uh, 120 that is already? Damage. Every wow. time. They, I mean, this Shadow Demon is the one that's supposed to save people from the jewels, but is he he's the one that constantly is the one that gets jeweled together with Ghost Stick, and that's just not happening. Kuroki. A lot of trouble, gets himself off uh, with a cold embrace, the boat misses. Nice four staff. Yep. There's a shrine, in range. He's not getting it though. Nope. He knows he's dead. Again. Liquid sticking together now, realizing probably that they should not split up at all versus yep. this type of lineup. The game is definitely not over when you're playing versus a Sven and a Marana. The clockwork is completely shut down, of course, Ghost Stick, but he's not the one that really matters too much. And with all the stolen du da dual damage, he should be able to bring down Roche quite quickly. Yep. That's uh, stolen dual damage. It's not stolen. It's just gotten uh, dual just damage. Got it, yeah, nobody, <laughs> nobody lost it. That would be brutal if you stole damage. That <laughs> <laughs> a little, little of power, perhaps. 
Rezo's in position though. He's got the blink, the BKB. They look like they want to go for an engage. Oh. GH trying to just mess oh. up a bit here though. I, he almost died there. There was a Winter's Curse juice as well. He still gets the kill. That means that there's no Winter's Curse this fight. But Parshka still goes down at the start. Miracle making sure of that. Jumping in with his remnants. Rezo. Nice stun dodge by the Yules. Yeah, but he, oh, he blinks out because he doesn't have a lot of remnants. He's got one remnant left and he wants to maybe use that aggressively. Perhaps. He's got an arcane Jewel, rune as well. Jewel, that was again clockwork. Nobody noticed. Oh my goodness. And they're going to get that, Rezo off of all this too. Yeah, that is a nice kill. Triple kill already coming out for Miracle. Oh god, Arcane Rune Ember is so disgusting. Having all those spells up every like four seconds is so absurd. Ooh. But that was, I mean, that was a cool little bait play though. You see GH jumps in, pays with his life, but he forces the God Strength to come out and everything, and the BKB to come out early that they're able to kite him around. And now they're going to get the rush without having to do a big contest. So that was yeah. really well played by Liquid. They're taking the fight outside rather than risking them taking a rush fight into a Sven BKB. I really thought that Empire had a chance that fight. It did look like it. It was looking really close. That Marana was just really late. He tell us, uh, FN teleported from top. He got the tier 2 top and actually went all the way back to base rather than uh, teleporting closer by. So he had to, uh, to take the long walk Yeah. and wasn't there in time. Otherwise, there would have been, if there was an instant jump, perhaps they could have taken a fight more on their terms. But yep. alas, alas indeed. But it's just a Roshan. We have seen uh, the high ground defense of Empire is not bad at all. They just have to get Liquid to try and uh, overextend. Yeah, they're still definitely strong. This, the big scary thing is that whenever Sven pops the BKB, it seems like the Winter's Curse is always there. Yeah. So he has to try to find a way to. He has to try to find a way to find Karoki in oh, the back. Look. Free damage! Yes. Oh, the dream. 152. <laughs> Fresh Shadow Blade picked up there for my control. He's sitting at. Two, oh my god, he's doing over 350 damage per hit already, with the armlet not even turned on. He uh, he was uh, friendly enough to give Maposh get a bounty room before. Oh, okay. So a little bit I mean, that's just show that's, that's MC in a nutshell, right? Just this nice guy, <laughs> nice <laughs> exterior. You can have that. I'll take the damage. Yeah. Easy. Okay, Liquid making a play. Bottom lane, they got four. We are missing Miracle, but I'm assuming he's got a spirit up somewhere perhaps to help out with the team. Yep. Uh, Miracle might actually get jumped, though. Uh, we have Roger and Resolution very close by, but they're going to get fourth bottom. Though. I mean, uh, this tier three tower is dropping. Why are they not in their base? The teleports now they come out from both of them. It might be a little bit on the late side. Kanga's pointing right in the front, right? Uh -oh. Yeah. Yep. There he is. Glimmered as well. Oh, the Winter's Curse coming out as the BKB hits again, allowing perhaps Liquid to back off from this one. The whole duration of the BKB is pretty much inside of that curse there. Yeah. And now Rezo doesn't have it. Doesn't. Yeah, not having BKB is going to make that fight super hard for him to actually take because then they can actually kite him and reliably lock him down with GH. And with this Aegis, they're really trying to force it. And Scotty finished up with Matu as well, so he's yeah. extremely durable. On the bright side, he hasn't used God Strength just yet. Yeah. So they are still to do it. The arrow misses. X Mark was a little bit uh, used on the late side. That's a nice disruption. Maybe getting some illusions for himself. Matu actually getting stuck by his own Fisher, but doesn't matter that much. Or does it? Torrid, that might actually have been it. Nope, there's a Golden Brace Press helping the attack, Press Golden the attack, Golden Brace. So much sustain. The save is there, there's an X mark, an arrow misses. No, arrow actually hits GH, but uh, doesn't hit Matuma, so Matuma lives and uh, GH was safe regardless. Rax are still standing though. They're step taking a step back, making sure they can heal up a little bit safer. BKB Sven should be coming up very soon. Three seconds. They're smoking in the back too. GH is going to look for an instant kind of jump if he sees anybody. Yep. Miracle already getting the roots off on FN. They get the duel on Roger. Yep. Roger again. Oh, the oh, perfect echo. that go up on three. GH is taking so much damage. The curse comes out again when the BKB hits. But this time, at least... There's already a dead Earthshaker. Perhaps they have a bit of a better chance. Resolution looking for the next target. Finds himself Kuroki. Now Matuba Man. Can he do anything here? Rezo getting some help. There's a Clockwork and a Marana teleporting in. Matu, you gotta run from this or not. Your illusions are able to take down Roger again. The poor guy. He'll be back in 30 seconds though. Being low level has its advantages. Miracle and Matu versus the world right here. Mm hmm. This, uh, this red lane Arax is dropping. Rezo trying to re-engage, but his damage without God Strength is super minimal. And Mar Miracle just explodes FN in the back lines, and now they're turning onto Rezo. They've got the defusal for the Purge to the chase. Actually, no charges on the defusal, and they're unable to actually bring down this tanky Sven. 
I think they should, yeah, just back up. They yeah. got what they wanted. Yeah. That was a really nice echo by uh, GH, but Rezo, I... Did, it, did he get the BKB off as it was happening, it seemed, or...? Yeah, he got the BKB off, and then he did he get, the, get the hit off, and then he got the curse again. Oh. Miracle goes back in for a greedy kill on the Pushka, but yeah. he's paying with his life. That was, that was a little over-aggressive there, Miracle. That's, that's 1k gold for Reza. Yeah. That's a lot of gold to give away. Uh, that fight, however, I mean, still, uh, even though, obviously, Empire gets a little bit more out of that than uh, Team Liquid, Lena racks down. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, Liquid wins that fight, hands down. Yeah, and during all these engagements, it means that Sven is forced to use the BKB, so it starts ticking down lower and lower and lower. And uh, when he's down five seconds, oh. it's pretty hard for him to actually not get kited around since there's a Winter's Curse. And yeah, he force they force God Strength out of yeah. Rezo there. So how many times that uh, Rezo has popped his BKB? Has there been uh, Winter's Curse? I think four, four times. Four times, out I think five? now. Yeah. Four out of five times so far. Kuroki's been in the perfect position to get those off. It really helps when you have an Aether Lens on a Winter Wyvern at this point in the yep. game. That cast range really makes it a lot easier. It makes all the difference. And they uh, obviously don't have the Aegis anymore. Do you feel like they want to wait for the next Aegis before trying again? You push lanes out, maybe look for some natural pickoffs. Do they have a smoke? They do have one more. They have all their ultis ready. I think probably just pushing lanes in constantly and then trying to take a fight before the rush is is better because they're just they're much stronger. They only really have to deal with the Sven. Mirana is a little painful because now the Mjolnir is finished up. Yep. But the Sven is the you know the big one when he ever has the BKB God Strength. Yeah, but it seems like Kuroki is just you know his, his Hawkeye is focused on Reso only. Except perfect curses. Yeah. I mean, they're not like kill curses that kill anyone, but they're the curses that save GH in the back lines here with an Oh, inverse. he gets, uh, no, the dust actually didn't hit. He goes there for the Marana. That means that FN might not be doing anything this fight. The Echo Slab comes out as well. In comes Rezo with the BKB this time again. There again, the curse. There it is, the curse indeed. Saves mind control for the moment. Earthshaker does end up dropping. Miracle getting chunked miracle down though. Resolution, he does do a lot of damage, but he can't yeah. attack. And he spent his he, he spent his gold he spent on a full data list to try to win that fight. Back. Yeah, that's that looks like it's gonna be GG here for yeah. Liquid. Look at how low everybody is as well. He was so close to getting like a double kill, but triple kill even. Yeah, there's a GG. Yeah, it became this went to Wyvern. Yeah, I mean Kuroki MVP. MVP for sure. He yeah. played incredibly well this game. Always in the right place. Him and my control played super well this game. My yeah. control with 152 dual victory, but. Yeah, Liquid just had really good decision making this game, invading that safe lane, getting those really early tier ones, all the actually all the early towers since Empire couldn't really team fight versus them, getting deep awards and just not letting the spend really farm too much. Yeah. But Empire didn't look, you know, too bad. Just Ghostic had a really rough game, and whenever he has rough games, it's really hard for them to actually be able to fight properly. So securing the lanes more. Yeah, probably. Focus of the second game because there will be a second game, uh, and that will be also our last game of the day already. Empire, they want to get some extra wins on the board. So does Team Liquid, though. Let's find out what's going to happen in game two. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs>